The Autobahn, the high-speed freeway system of West Germany, was recently converted into an emergency airstrip. A newly constructed section near Alpha in northern Germany was put to the test when 370 NATO aircraft landed, serviced, and took off in the 7,000-foot strip. Pilots reported no problem with landings on the Autobahn. This facility here is real fine. We came in and landed this morning with no problems whatsoever. They have all the facilities you need to go ahead and flight plan and uh, get the information you need, go out and fly another mission. Aside from being a little bit narrow, it's just exactly like a normal landing on any runway, and it'd be no problem at all to use it in wartime or to use it in a peacetime type emergency. With the prospect of bombed out runways at regular air bases in Europe, officials turn to the Autobahn as the prime source of open or emergency airstrip. Portable facilities, including control tower, Firefighting and ambulance service, refueling and radar equipment transformed the Autobahn into a airfield. Transport land, offload combat equipment, fighter aircraft can be serviced, rearmed, or trained to combat in minimum time. Built originally to handle the heavy weapons of Hitler's invading armies, the Autobahn now serves as a cause. The nerve center of the space tracking mission is located deep inside Cheyenne Mountain of the Colorado Rockies. Computers, fed by a network of sensors including radar, telescopes, cameras, and radio receivers, maintain a constant record of the movements of the more than 4,700 objects still in orbit over the Earth. Ranging in size from small fragments of rocket debris the size of a grapefruit to satellites weighing several tons, the Space Command tracks them all, making some 30,000 observations each day. Special is given to objects faltering in orbit. Although man-made objects re-enter from orbit on the average one a day, the heat and force of atmospheric re-entry causes most to break up and burn. Only the largest ever reached the Earth. Skylab, one of the largest objects in space, became erratic in its orbit in 1979, and the whole world was alerted by the tracking center. Skylab, fortunately, in a remote area of Australia without harm to life or property. Re-entry information is invaluable to our defense efforts. Take your combined One plate, too. Come on! 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 Come on!